All right, guys, welcome back. I just want to make a quick little blueprint video to try to help you guys out, mainly for Edward, but for others as well. I'm sure this will help many people. So here are some symbols here. Um, I haven't really ever seen the switch box, but you got your classic three-way with the S and a three underneath. Usually the S has like a dollar sign through it. It kind of looks like a dollar sign with a line through it. Like this with a line. Um, but anyways, you got the... You got the switch symbol, you got your standard receptacle duplex with two lines through it. These can also turn um, sideways, so this isn't just like one direction if the wall, the, usually the, the symbols would line up like this on a wall. So if the wall is here, you would see the plug that direction. If the wall was this direction, that would be turned 90 degrees going up and down. If the wall was over here, it would be 180 degrees. So just keep that in mind. So you got your plug symbol. And then this is a GFCI for the bathroom and stuff like that, or kitchen. It's a plug symbol with the letters GFCI. And then switch receptacle is a plug symbol with half of it um, black or filled in, which which notifies that it's that plug is turned on by a light switch. Um, you got your 240 receptacle, like your range and your dryer, or your stove and your dryer. It has three lines through it, so it's just a heavy duty plug. Um, Wall-mounted light fixture, usually just see those in the bathroom, like the vanity light. Haven't ever really seen the weatherproof light fixture, probably because I've only done one in my life, um, or actually a couple, but um, you got your ceiling fans and stuff like that, haven't really seen any much of those. Smoke detectors, see those a lot, SD, inside of a circle, telephone jack, there's just a black triangle, and then there's also like a hollow, hollow one, just like a triangle with just outline of a triangle for like um either like um what is that for like tv or um internet stuff like that um you got your single switch i never seen a single plex receptacle really that would just be like a one plug uh, by itself not a duplex like a standard wall so that would be like for an individual circuit or whatever like a freezer or something um, so there's a bunch of these. I'm not going to go through all of them. You got your four plex. That's just four plugs, um, in a double gang box. Um, stuff like that. So, okay, well, I'm going to switch over to a blueprint real quick. I just Googled this electrical symbols and electrical blueprint. I zoomed in on this about 150%. Um, so I haven't really looked at this, but I'm going to go ahead and just walk you through it. This isn't really the biggest wiring diagram. So you're not gonna see every single wire, but I can just fill you in on how it's how you can do it. So um, right here, you obviously have your single gang switch right here, just a single switch, and that's the switch leg going to the light. So that line just notifies you that the the switch is turning on this light right there, and you need a wire going from that switch to that light. Obviously, you're gonna need a power source for the light as well, so it doesn't really show that wire. Um, so anyways, um, if you want more about that later, I can try to find you a different print, but, um, you got your plugs here. So like I was saying, the plugs, um, they change direction depending on which wall they're on. So, um, these, this plug, let's just make up a scenario that this, this is one circuit. So this plug goes to here. So you need a wire from here to here, from here to here, here to here. So each box will have two wires basically. So say the home run starts here, that goes to the panel. And then you jump a daisy chain from this plug to this plug to this plug to this plug. So each box will have two wires. So you get the idea on that. And then you got, looks like uh, recessed can lights right here. And you can also see our CLT, which I've never really seen ever in my life, but uh, just <clears throat> looking at it, uh, assuming there's gonna be a can light a can light above the kit. This looks like a kitchen right here, eating area. So this can light is turned on by this switch right here. So you got a switch leg here and then you daisy chain these together. So all three lights come on at the same time. Um, another switch here. So this will be a two gang box, uh, two switches. Like I was saying, um, you got two switches here in a switch box, so a two gang box. This switch leg goes over to here and this also ties into this light. So uh, two wires in this box, the switch leg, and then a daisy chain over to this. So those two lights will come on at the same time for the dining room. 
Um, this looks like a downstairs for like a basement or something. So there's a little symbol here for a wall light and then a switch here for something. It looks like it going to, looks like this switch is going to the wall light on, by the side of the stairs and then another light on the other side of the wall going down lower on the other side of the stairs. Um, and then it looks like a dimming switch here or something, whatever the D stands for, dimmer switch. Dimmer switch is has, um, there's a couple lights here. Looks like on the outside of the stairwell. Um, so mounted, uh, light, light mounted on this wall and around the other side of the wall. Uh, closet light or something right here. Uh, actually, that's a bathroom. So there's a switch right there. And then you need a switch leg wire to turn on that light. And then that's basically all in there. But usually there's a bathroom fan and stuff like that. Um, so another switch right here, dimming switch. Uh, one in the middle of the bathroom, and then a second one above the shower or bathtub. And then right here, you got another switch right here going to the ceiling fan. And then in here, you have a plug and a, looks like a telephone outlet. And, uh, as you can see right there, telephone outlet. This doesn't really have any cable or anything, but it would obviously just show a cable symbol and then a cable symbol um, wherever it may be. Um, so, here's a, I don't know if this is a mud room or basically from coming in outside the house or a laundry room. So you got a plug there, which is probably for your washing machine. And that's just a 20 amp. And then you have a switch right here for the light. So nothing too intense. It doesn't really show the wiring um, diagram, but you kind of get the idea with the switch legs and how they kind of tie together from here to here or here, here, and here. So... Sorry, my phone crashed. Um, so anyways, I uh, just try to keep that in mind. Um, the wiring, jumping from in between. This is just basic stuff, not not anything like plugs and lights on the same circuit. This would just be all plugs, the way that I told you, uh, plugs together and then these lights together. So that's the way I like to do it. It keeps it simple if you keep all the plugs on one circuit and the lights on the other circuit. But a lot of people, to save money, they will um, take power from the plugs and then power up the switch box and stuff like that. So that's a little more advanced, but not too much, but, uh, try to give you some basic stuff here. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, so try to study this if you're trying to get into electrical apprenticeship or whatever, if you just want to get more familiar with it or get more knowledge. And hopefully this helps you out. Thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Uh, like, and subscribe if this helped you out. I'd appreciate it. Thanks guys. See you later.